851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, and welcome to DJ's Aviation. If you listen to my latest podcast, you will have heard me discuss how Etihad Airways are going about the correct procedures to right their wrongs and head back to profitability. Today, I share positive and potentially negative news in regards to the Abu Dhabi based carrier. Originally planned as a two-part video release, I believe combining these two stories together would make the perfect contrast for you all. We begin in London Heathrow, not necessarily Etihad's hub of operations, but certainly a prolific destination for them. News broke in recent days that Etihad Airways will in fact be leaving its Terminal 4 business and first class lounge behind in a bid to further cut their losses. However, Etihad Airways won't entirely lose their lounge. Number one, an independent airline lounge chain will be taking over the space and the lounge, which was previously only for Etihad customers. They will rebrand it to The House, the home of Etihad Airways and other leading airlines. So what does this mean more clearly though? Well, The House, as it's been rebranded, will be a lounge within Heathrow that will allow all Etihad customers in. This includes access to economy passengers should they wish to pay for access. In addition to this, the lounge will be used by premium passengers of a small number of other airlines that operate out of London's Heathrow. However, this will be depending on the availability in regards to space and amenities, as it'll be important to have the lounge not too crowded as it is essentially now a communal lounge. All customers that do choose to use the lounge can expect all the usual specialties found, like a reading room, upgraded shower facilities, a dining room, adequate space for discussions and work. The Etihad Airways Vice President of Guest Experience and Delivery said on Arabian Business, It will provide an opportunity for our economy guests to upgrade their pre-flight experience, adding, This is an innovative development for Etihad's international lounge offering. Number one loungers stood out for their operational skill and expertise, and for their creative approach to Etihad's lounge needs. A spokesperson for Number One Lounges said, We have worked closely with Etihad Airways over the last year to develop a new brand which complements its world-class in-flight service. To modernise the lounge interiors and to broaden the lounge's appeal, indicating to us this has been in the pipeline for likely longer than we imagined. The removal of their main lounge isn't all that new to us, as weeks ago Etihad Airways also left their Manchester lounge. This Manchester lounge, similar to what will be occurring with Heathrow, is going to be operated by a premium lounge operator. In this case, the name is 1903. All these changes come as the airline, as mentioned, tries to lower its overall costs. However, in saying all of that, we've seen Etihad Airways more recently appear in the headlines because of Jet Airways. If you weren't aware, around a month ago, it was being heavily reported that Jet Airways were actually close to ceasing all operations. This comes about because of their severe losses and financial difficulties, similar to Etihad. Anyway, Etihad Airways will inject $35 million into the Indian carrier, Jet Airways, via the airline's loyalty program. This was confirmed by Etihad Airways on the 5th of October, and comes as the airline tries to save Jet Airways. This is an airline Etihad holds a 24% stake in, and one of the few remaining airlines that they've invested in, which hasn't collapsed. Take Air Berlin, for example. In an emailed statement to the Air Transport World, a spokesperson for Etihad Airways said, Etihad Airways confirms it proposed a financial restructuring and support plan for Jet Airways that was approved by its majority shareholder. This plan includes a 35 million cash pre-purchase payment to Jet Airways by Jet Privilege, which is majority owned by Etihad Airways. For the past year, Jet Airways have experienced financial difficulties especially coming from the rising operating costs and fuel prices. In addition, they've noted the weakening of the rupee has also contributed to the state of the airline. As Jet Airways is one of Etihad's assets, no doubt they'll be trying to support the airline. Whether this is the best move considering Etihad's own situation, we'll definitely have to wait and see. If you have any thoughts on Etihad Airways and or Jet Airways, let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one.